a low from a very windy Southampton. Hello. I think it's time for our second cruise ever. Is it? Here's what's coming up. Well, hello again. Take 103. <laughs> Cheek. <laughs> a couple of months ago, I don't know if you've seen our previous video, we went on our first ever cruise, the P&O Aurora, mm -hmm. and we were at the, this point, just about to embark. Since that date, less than two months ago, Mel's booked another cruise. Okay. This time we're going for a seven night trip to the Norwegian fjords on the P&O ship, the Britannia, uh -huh. which is just over there. Are you excited? Day, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to be honest, the weather's not looking too good. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We'll take some travel tablets. Anyway, away. before we embark, let's have a look at where we stayed, which is just over there, the Harder Inn, which doesn't look much cop from the outside, it's but nice. inside it was okay. It's good. We'd stay there again. Definitely. So have a look at that, and then we'll continue as we embark on the P&O Britannia. Excited. I forgot to mention one interesting fact about the ocean terminal mm. where we're departing from. Mm. Just across from there is berth 44. Do you know that? Yeah. That was the me. White Star Line berth and where the Titanic set sail from. Thanks for mentioning <laughs> that again, like you did in our first video. You love it really. Well, hello again. It's us from yesterday. We're going to mention where we stayed and we're in the Holiday Inn near the city cruise terminal. First time. And yes. you can park here and the rate was pretty good, wasn't it? It wasn't too bad. Parking's on site. Yeah. And there's only a few minutes from the cruise port itself. Yeah, I think the hotel. Ocean terminal we're going from. The, the room for the night, wasn't it? Breakfast, transfer. Yeah, transfer to and from, from the port. And breakfast and parking okay. came to. £202. For a week. For a week, yeah. I don't know, that sounds good to me. We're used to airport prices and that sounds mm. good. Anyway, let's have a quick look around our hotel room. <laughs> oh my God, what was that? <laughs> oh, comfy bed. Yeah, now Mel's removed herself from the bed. It's not the biggest, is it? No. Not the biggest. Decent size room though, the room nice itself room. is fine. Nice but decor. Yep. USB points on both sides of the bed. Ooh. Wardrobe space. Oh, light comes on. Not the, Not the biggest. biggest. So, okay for one night. Complimentary water and, <laughs> yeah, and, and Kit Kat. Two fingers? Two yes. fingers. <laughs> That is the worst accent I've ever And the kettle. Is it a clean kettle? Yeah, check the kettle. Spotless <laughs> kettle. Spotless. I like a good clean kettle. And have we got a fridge? No, we haven't got a fridge. No. By the way, if you're hearing heffing and puffing in the background, that's Mel complaining. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you in the know, that was the phantom raspberry blower of old London town. <laughs> Get on with it, woman. The bathroom, the bog, and the sink. Can we do that again? Can we do this seriously? Come on. So we do have a view of the city cruise terminal. Let's take a look. After that ridiculous performance of the silly accents by Melissa, I'm taking it over again. Anyway, that was a quick look around the Holiday Inn in Southampton. From the outside, it looks really grim, doesn't it? 
It's the Holiday Inn. It's, like a, a, outside, it's yeah. like a 60s looking building. Yeah, but Holiday Inn's Great. okay. But inside it's far nicer. Yeah, much nicer. I would definitely book it again. Yes. And it, uh, I think we kept you enough. Maybe we have another nicer companion next time. <laughs> Than you. <laughs> Maybe you can meet one on the cruise. That's a good idea. Anyway, we've kept you enough. Let's go back to Embarkation Day. Well, the transfer from the hotel was quick and easy, wasn't it? And again, like last time, dropping off the bags it's so much simpler oh, yeah. than, than at than the flight. airport. Yeah. Literally, out of the taxi, straight to the bag drop. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go inside. We are... We should be all right, actually. Yeah, we're 20 now, minutes please. early. Yeah. We'll see if they let us in. I'm sure they will. So they let us on, then. Yeah. Well, we're through security and boarding the ship in 10 minutes yeah 10 minutes we arrived on time a little bit early but not much early. yeah 20 minutes early they're letting people through up to an hour earlier i've noticed and the staff are helpful as well yeah they've got a lot of like i would say retired people helping out yeah really good yeah anyway here's anyway. the ship Excited. So we've just mustered, which was easy. The time is half past twelve. Mm. And it, am I disturbing you? Yes. <laughs> She's on her phone. It's not, yeah, it's not all about you, the you know. The time is ha it's half past twelve, and that was our check-in time. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really quick and it was easy. Ten minutes to get on. Yeah. And then another ten minutes to so, um, go on the lift. To go that's on another press point. Up. The rooms aren't ready yet, but we are early. It's said about an hour. So up to the buffet. Yes. We might be able to get on the app and book or something. Okay. I'll have a look around. So there's Mel booking the meals, booking the speciality dining. Unfortunately, I can't log on, it's not recognising me. It says I don't exist. And I don't know if you can see in the background, the buffet is pretty full today. So this is our room, A514. And Melissa's already in here. Yes. Because somebody wouldn't wait for the lift. I'll be ready here before you. It is a bit confusing. <laughs> well, let me explain those lifts then. There were a lot of people waiting because they called out the rooms already. So I said, take the stairs. Logically, you expect the stairs to be by the lifts, but they weren't. They were at the right at the other side of the ship. So I walked all the way down, down. There must be an easier way. Anyway, let's have a look at the room. It is more contemporary than the Aurora. Is it bigger or smaller or same size, Mal? I would say it's smaller. I would say slightly smaller. Yeah. It's more contemporary. Relatively good condition, bit scattered around the edges and stuff, but nice contemporary furniture. British ship, tea and coffee, UK plugs, decent-sized TV. There's the balcony. We've had really good weather, but today it is a bit cold and grey. So what's the bathroom like? It's got an open wardrobe by the bathroom. Well, it's hidden away. Yeah, but it's hidden away from the main 
living area. Hello. Again, very intimate bathroom, but a bit more contemporary than the Aurora. Well, I did a little run around, didn't I, Mel? Mel, reflection of Mel. I can't log in to the PO app, so I can't book anything or check my expenses and things like that. Okay, can I say something? Go on, say something. Number one, have you book? Will you normally book anything? No. Number two, have you bought anything? No. Oh, yeah. Well, I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I've entered the details correctly, and it doesn't accept my details. So, um, so I'll be paying for everything on this cruise. They did say in reception the card is open and live. The connection between that and the app is not working very well for some reason. So we'll see. Anyway, let's go and explore. We haven't got a very good view. <laughs> let's go and explore. Southampton, what do you expect? The, the hanging improves. gardens of Babylon. I hope the view, <laughs> I hope the view improves when we go to Norway. I'll still be here. Mm. Anyway, let's go and explore the ship. Come on, let's go. Come on. So this is the sunset bar, which actually it's raining at the no moment. Sun. Uh, no <laughs> sun. Where's the sunny weather gone? Well, despite being quite a big ship, there are plenty of quiet areas still, aren't there? People in the pool. In the pool. They're brave. So we found the pub, Brodie's, on deck level six. Yes. And the casino. So we've made it to the crow's nest for a drink. <laughs> and it, uh, it's quite busy. Is that because everyone's checking in, going to the rooms, going to reception? So it's busy because it's like any departure day, isn't it? It's, um, Everyone sorted everything out, but more importantly, drink time. As I'm thirsty, I'm thinking to go for a beer. And that's Mel's favourite. Are you going to have one of those now? Yes. You are? Okay. Oh no, not at the moment. Okay, okay. I never cooked. Okay, okay. <laughs> They've gone up slightly in price. Yeah, they have gone up slightly since two months ago. Only slightly. Yeah, 20 people. So I would say we've got a glorious view but it started to rain. I think that's going to be the theme of the week, I think, rain. Are you enjoying yourself? I will have to have a cocktail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. It's always a bit hectic the first time. We yeah. are enjoying ourselves. I sound like I'm moaning, but I'm not. That's me. That's me. <laughs> that's you enjoying yourself. I used to be a maths teacher. I always look at the negative. <laughs> but it's been nice. Anyway, cocktail time? Yeah. Or relaxing time. Soft drink time. Yeah, I'm gonna have a beer, I think. I think I keep a passion fruit martini for tonight. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I'm in the crow's nest having a beer. And it smells being good. She's gone for a Coke. I've gone for a Coca Cola. Is that product placement there? Anyway, until later. Cheers. Well, for Sail Away, we've come back to the cabin because the weather's still a bit ropey. Still a bit of rain about. You hear the engines, and I think we are moving. Yes, we're moving. Look at all those JCBs waiting for export. Take a look.
time for a little tip for Mel mm -hmm. before dinner. Ooh. Do you want one of your cocktails? Maybe. Ooh, So Mel, cheers. Cheers. Ooh. That doesn't look staged at all, does it? <laughs> mm. 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 So, what do you think of it so far? The best. <laughs> Seriously, it's uh, Jack Daniels and Coke going down well. I might, I've got no Cosmo. It's a shame. The weather's a bit ropey, isn't it? It's a bit grey and foggy at the moment. So, but would you rather be in grey and foggy UK or <laughs> grey and foggy Norway? Uh, grey and foggy on the way to Norway. Oh, no, it's yeah. Norway. Mm. And uh, like we said, we're slightly more experienced this time, aren't we? Yes. And we've booked a few restaurants we and have. stuff like that. Unfortunately, my app's still not working. The car's working, but I can't see what I'm spending. So that may be a good thing. So tonight, we're going Don't to one, one of the, the main dining rooms. Yeah, Meridian probably. You can go into a virtual queue online mm -hmm. or just turn up. Just turn, yeah, and wait. And what we'll do, because we don't want to for people's enjoyment by vlogging and doing this nonsense we'll take the camera just the phone mm -hmm. and it photos, yeah, take some photographs so anyway we'll see you later bye it's a good measure i know i saw you pour it <laughs> So we had a good first night, didn't we? Yeah. Look at me, Professor Yaffle. The carved wooden bookend in the shape of a woodpecker. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Ah. Did you enjoy your night? Yeah, it was alright. Yeah, we went for a drink afterwards in the crow's nest. Mm -hmm. And now we're back in the room quite early. Nice passion fruit martini. Because I'm actually so it's tired. It's not that early. What time is it? I don't know. 10 o'clock? That's quite early. You've been popping those pills again, haven't you? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these my cheap ones. So ones I sleep in. Okay. Anyway, enough yabbering. Yeah, but I mean, I forgot what I was going to say now. As you can tell, we've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. Had a good night. Yeah. You've so had I'm, a good, few I, I'm gonna have, go to bed now. I won't uh, yeah, I know what it was. TV. What? The TV. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of films, but they're quite old films. So Mel's horrified to find out they've got Beneath Planet of the Apes playing. Beneath the Planet of the Yeah, the, one of the original like ones. Charles Nestor's one. I don't know if he's in that one, but he's one of that, that, that franchise, the first franchise. So anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, good morning from somewhere in the North Sea. It's our first sea day, and it's, I'm pleased to report it's much calmer than yesterday despite the forecast and a little update to the app issues I was having this morning I woke up and it's all reset it's working perfectly so that's okay so let's take a look still cloudy bit of sun on the horizon so let's have a look at the North Sea in what month is it? June So Melissa, mm -hmm. where are we going this morning on our sea day? To the Horizon Buffet. Horizon Buffet, okay. How was your night's sleep by the way? It was, it was good. A little, a little bit of vibration, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was like those beds you see in those films. And it's films. not what you're thinking. Yeah, those, those <laughs> motel beds you put 50 cents in and it vibrates. Yeah, it was a bit strange. <laughs> and have you tried one of those? How do you know? <laughs> anyway, Horizon Buffet, let's go and take a look. Will it be hectic one thing we noticed so. there's no central staircase to go mm. up, up one flight of stairs 
We have to go all the way to the front, all the way to the back of the ship. Mm. A lot confused people yesterday who hadn't been on Britannia before. <laughs> we were out, yeah, we were one of them. Anyway, buffet time. At 11 a.m. in the studio on deck seven midship, come along and see Britannia's chefs whipping up a culinary storm featuring some mouth-watering dishes in our live cookery demonstration. <laughs> How was it, Mel? Bit of a scrum. Bit of a scrum, yeah. But we've got quite a lot of area around here. Yeah, as Mel was saying, it's a bit, a bit of a scrum at breakfast it's in the buffet. I think we'll. we'll yeah, we'll try the main dining room tomorrow. By the way, that roll and fruit, that was just round one. <laughs> I think I have to I have some grease. <laughs> We're on the cruise for seven days on this one. They may have to wheel me off. <laughs> one of those extra mm. large wheelchairs. Melly's been healthy. What have you got? Muesli or yoghurt? No, it's... um. Birchie muesli. Birchie muesli and... Uh, With some pineapple and some melon. Very healthy. Are you having anything else after that? Yeah. Bacon sandwich? I might have a bacon sandwich or some ham and cheese and rolls. Okay. Mel, go from round two. Fried bread. Oh, gosh. Potatoes, scrambled eggs, a roll. Bacon and beans. Oh, I Get the medics on standby. Well, we just had a buffet breakfast and I think we're going to explore the ship a bit more and get some steps in. Because <laughs> it's a sea day. So, uh, but the weather's not looking too good, but we'll make the most of it. Actually, last time I enjoyed the sea day. It's quite nice. Nice and relaxing. So, let's have a quick look around and explore some of the open areas of the ship. By the way, Mel's going to go line dancing again. <laughs> what time is your line dancing? Half past 11. Half past 11. Get your cowboy boots on. Welcome to June in the North Sea. <laughs> We've just found this area. It's a Serenity adults only area. So it's got a heated pool and sun lounges. And I think on a sunny day, it would be quite nice. What about today? Not so good. <laughs> and it's got a bar as well, the important things. But as you can see, it may be cold and windy, but it's quite flat. The sea state's quite calm. You can tell the pool's hardly moving. There's hardly any waves in it. Look. So I'm surprised how smooth it's been so far. Like I said, the forecast wasn't good. I've just come down to the back of the ship. I'm on level seven, so I'm quite close to the water. And you can really appreciate how fast we're going. And it's a moderate sea. They said 30 knot winds, which I can feel. So, anyway, I was always afraid of seasickness. But the rocking movements on the ship is sending me to sleep. It's only very slight, but it's really relaxing. So I'm currently on deck seven, and our room is on deck 15 towards the front, which is up there somewhere, on the port side, the left. And I'll see you back there. Just to give you some idea, 
the captain said it was 35 to 40 knot winds, moderate to rough seas. Look at my drink on the balcony. And we're quite high up, we're on the 15th floor. So the motion's not too bad. Well, good evening. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, there we are. We're very nice. <laughs> we're just about to go down to celebration night. We are. Yeah. We are indeed. We're not going to film down there because I'm going to have a few drinks and enjoy myself. You don't want to see him when and, he's drunk. And you can it's see. Very messy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, at the moment, the weather's a bit rough, but I'm amazed how calm the ship is. Yeah. 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 It's Considering when you look out the window, Look at it. Oh my I God. Good travel, isn't yeah. He? yeah, I got sick in a boat simulator once and I've also been sick in a lift. So okay. <laughs> that, How? How? So I've taken I have taken travel sickness pills and I think I recommend it. And but it is working. And I and I I was fine earlier, but mm. I thought when the when the captain said it was moderate to rough seas, I thought I'd better take one. Only just and take it's come one. Rough, but right? I don't feel I don't feel Yeah, you got this you can feel, feel the motion. Feel bad yeah. That. Anyway, just be on the safe side. That was embarkation and our first sea day. We'll continue when we get to Norway. So we'll see you in one of those. Bye. Bye.